country was wild and the times were tumultuous. A smooth-talking, unprincipled son of a Georgia lawyer, recently arrived in Alaska, had more ways to part a fool from his money than the Klondike had gold. He was a con man and bunco artist nicknamed Soapy Smith, and he was the most celebrated villain in rough and tumble Skagway. Most people never even realized they'd been duped by a master of the trade. You can learn all about Soapy and his nefarious schemes at the Days of 98 Melodrama in Town. It's a colorful glimpse into Skagway at the height of the gold rush. It was hell on earth, I tell you. Mud and rocks, rocks and mud, and everyone driven mad with gold fever. Skagway was like an anthill stirred up with a stick. And at the top of the heap was the king of Skagway. Until Frank Reed put a bullet in his heart and then died himself 12 days later. Soapy and Frank are buried out at the Gold Rush Cemetery. But the spirit of those rollicking Gold Rush days lives on. At the Trail of 98 Museum, and the Red Onion Saloon, you're right in the midst of the action. Skagway was the gateway to the Klondike back in 1898. Gold was discovered in the Yukon and thousands of fortune seekers created an overnight boom town on the edge of Lynn Canal. They came on steamships out of Seattle or San Francisco, and either the White Pass from Skagway or the Chilkoot Trail from Dye was their chosen route. 2,000 pounds of supplies per person were to be packed over the mountains by order of the Northwest Canadian Mounted Police. It was a mighty load to haul by horse, mule, or on your back. I walked over the Chilkoot Pass into Canada. I would never do it again, not for all the gold in the Klondike. And yet, knowing now what it means, would I miss it? <laughs> never. Not for all the gold in the world. White Pass and Yukon Route Railroad made the journey from Skagway much easier. But by the time it was finished, the gold rush was over and done. Climbing from sea level to 2,885 feet, it's one of the steepest railroads in the world. You can ride that train and catch modern day gold fever on a scenic excursion from Skagway to the Yukon. Yeah, they said it couldn't be done. The terrain was too steep for a billy goat, too cold for a polar bear. But we placed the dynamite, built the bridges, blasted the tunnels, and laid the toughest 110 miles of track in the world. Today, they call it an international historic engineering landmark, just like the Eiffel Tower in Paris. The Gold Rush lives on in the Klondike Gold Rush National Historic Park, where heritage is the main attraction. A collection of 450,000 treasures, including 15 authentic Gold Rush era buildings, create a legacy you won't find anywhere else. Stroll the creaky wooden boardwalk, do some shopping, ride a streetcar, and listen to a honky-tonk piano play. This is where thrilling adventures took place and where the present holds just as many possibilities. Our characters are colorful, the opportunities are endless, and the land has an epic grandeur and grace. Come find your place in Alaskan history. Come to Skagway, the gateway to the Klondike. 